Hey y'all, this is Sierra, AKA Sister C Inspires, and I had the great honor and privilege of sharing in the Encouraging Her community for Single Saturdays. Woo -woo. Where are my singles? And I have a question for you. Do you feel as if you are suffering in your singleness? Mm. Ah, y'all, let me tell you. I have been reading Job and God just kind of gave me a quick word and I just want to share that with you guys. So a little bit about Job. So Job, as we know, was a blameless man of complete integrity and God gave him to test. But it was through the testing and through the trials and through what we would consider suffering that something great was birthed out of it. So I want you to remember three words, okay? Three, response, repentance, restoration. So we hop over to Job 42, one through six. It says, then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do anything and no one can stop you. You ask, who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorance? It is I, and I was talking about things I knew nothing about things too far wonderful for me. You said, listen, and I will speak. I have some questions for you and you must answer them. I had only heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I take back everything I said, and I sit in the dust and ashes to show my repentance. Mm, 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 mm. And here's the thing, y'all. Remember those three words I said to you? Response. Job's response back to the Lord when the Lord had spoke with him, repentance and restoration. So in looking at Job's story, we see that he responded back to the Lord. So when you get some time, read through, listen to Job um, to gather where I'm going with this. So what is the word repentance? Repentance means a change of heart and mind that brings us back closer to God. So when it comes to your singleness, I need you to repent. Repent for every word curse, every generational curse, every idle word that you have uttered um, in your singleness, every lie you have believed of the enemy. I need you to repent. State what it was. Ask God to bring it to your remembrance. What are the things that I have come in alignment with in my singleness that God did not declare to be true about me? Do that. What if God is just waiting on you to release you and restore you? What if what is delaying you and being prosperous in your singleness is you and you saying, I always be single. That's a word curse. That, that, that's you speaking something out. We have, to re we have to remember that God's word does not return to him void. Also remember that your singleness is a season. It is not a sentence. So when I think of the word sentence, I think of imprisonment, someone who is trapped like when somebody goes to prison, like they're trapped. Someone is telling them when to wake up, when to go to sleep, when to eat, when they have recreations. They're stuck. They're bound by something. But singleness is actually a season. And we know seasons change. God gives us four seasons a year, no matter what the weather looks like outside. Because sometimes it can be a little tricky. Like, okay, it's 65 in December or February. Or, you know, it's like, oh, the, 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 the weather can change. But we have known the seasons to always be for. There are no new created seasons. I want you to also remember that. And similar to with Job and his three friends and um, the, the wise young man, remember to trust God's wisdom when you encounter suffering rather than trying to figure out the reason. We have to be sure that we do not try to simplify God or try to accuse God as Job's friends and Job did in that. We need to learn to look at our suffering and our singleness, which singleness is not suffering, with compassion and allow God to be God. <sighs> allow God to be the main thing. Make sure that we are centered and know that we are daughters of the Most High King and we have access. Once again, my name is Sierra, aka Sister C Inspires. You can connect with me um, at Sierra Small and on Instagram, I am sisterc.inspires. Until the next time, I'll holla.